Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Bally Spring and a slightly different series than we've maybe done up until now in FS22. But I did a map tour of this on Wednesday last week in my live stream. Um, and Irish Connor very kindly shared an early preview copy of it with me and I have absolutely fallen in love with this map. It's uh, definitely a little bit of a reminder of home and when I grew up um, not that I was from Ireland, I was from uh, the middle of Cheshire, but there's so many similarities in the type of countryside and just the area, the narrow lanes and all of that, that it just it just kind of lit a little bit of a fire under me and I thought, well, let's have a little play around with this. Let's start something off, let's see how we get on and uh, maybe it makes me try and do something a little bit different to the kind of traditional, well, let's just go big machines and big fields and, and go for it. And I know everybody loves that and I love that as well. But this is, there's a little bit of a trip down memory lane here, a little bit of nostalgia in this, uh, which makes me want to uh, play this way for a bit of a change. So hopefully it kind of inspires a few of you to want to play a little bit differently as well and maybe try this map out when it comes out, which I don't think will be in the too distant future now. But um, let's have a look around. Basically, it is predominantly a grassland map it is a silage map it is you know good traditional british irish um silage harvest four or five times a year if you can get away with it so what we've got let's let's have a little bit of a tour let's go back to the start uh where we come in we have got our little nice stone farmhouse there we are tucked up right in the top corner of the map here as you can see um we've got one two three four five six seven eight fields all grass fields so we do need to think about what we do with those from a harvest perspective because we do have animals as well so we need uh straw for them uh and obviously hay as well as silage so um to feed the animals we need to make sure that we're covering all of those bases we've got ourselves a little john deere for running around in kind of handy for these narrow lanes um there's not much space for anything other than a tractor and if you meet one coming the other way you know you're going to end up coming off worst more often than not now we do have a bit of straw and hay left over from last harvest which will keep us going for a little while but the cows are hungry so we will need to think about what we do in the interim before uh, the next harvest but uh, we'll think about that and we'll plan that as we go along. Um, in terms of kit that we've got I think we're pretty much self-sufficient. The only thing we don't have is slurry equipment which we may invest in at a later date but we have this uh, Pottinger nice tedder here with a nice class uh, liner 500 wind rower there. Um, this mower is my nemesis. I do not like this mower, but it's probably the most appropriate for this map. So I'm going to just grit my teeth, suck it up and get on with it until we see something or find something a little bit better. We've got an old fashioned Fent Favorit 500 there. Um, we've got a John Deere uh, forage pickup pull behind. Um, chopper, as you can see there. So some of this kit isn't particularly new. But it does the job. Over here, we have got ourselves a lovely couple of cane trailers. Very Irish um, uh, cane trailers there, which are very nice. We've got a, an old a manure spreader here as well, a high-spec manure spreader, um, which will hopefully spread um, the manure that we get from our cows. We've got a little bit of a water tank there, nothing special there. Um, in fact, we'll just nip down here because I want to show you this. We have got down here our first board tractor and that is the 7810 again like i said bit of a nostalgia trip for me we ran these on our farm we actually had a 7610 a twf 15 and a 7810 i believe uh, later on so um kind of reminds me of home a bit we've got a keenan feeder on the back there as well something else we had on uh, the farm that i grew up on as well so we're uh, having a bit of fun with that not exactly the same model um but uh, still you kind of remember those names from when you're growing up there are our cows all 32 of them, so not a big herd, but we're going to try and look after them the best we can to make sure that they're uh, going to be as lucrative as possible. We have calves as well. That one appears to want to get out of his pen there, but uh, we'll sort him out a little bit as well. So we can feed them, and they will obviously be transferred over as they grow up as well. That's one of the nice things about this map, actually, is the uh, Farmer Andy's custom animals, which are really, really good. And if we head up here... Ahead of us here is our 7610. This is our workhorse. This has got a front loader on it uh, with various attachments so we can play around with different things. Um, there is our bale grab. Um, and we've got a big weight there. 
when we're doing that. And this is our straw chopper for uh, when we need to give the animals a little bit more straw. So that's quite a nice bit of kit around here. Just in the other silage bunker, which we'll need to clear out at some point. We've got a bale wrapper, which we may not need because we've got on the silage fork there, uh, we have got this McHale baler, which is a... Uh, Something you would see a lot in Ireland, actually. Um, the, the Fusion 3 baler, which wraps as well. So, um, looking forward to, to giving that a bit of a whirl. But we thought we'd jump straight into a little bit of silage work. We've got um, some grass to cut. We'll probably use probably the Fent today, I think, um, because the others are tied up. So we'll jump in and we'll go and head down to these two fields here, 12 and 15, that are next door to it. We'll get the grass cut. Um, we're not going to need to ted it straight away. We're going to go straight for silage for this one. We're going to make bales, silage bales. Make it as easy as possible because we have no more silage left to feed the cares. So, we better get that sorted. Right, we're going to negotiate these rather tight yards here. Put our flasher on as well so that people can see us coming. This gate is shut, but we'll... Uh, just quickly pop this open and we'll head down the road as you can see ahead of us there this really is a glorious map a rich green map with lots and lots of uh, wonderful rolling hills uh, he has done a fantastic job with this he really has um, and it's forcing me to play you really don't have the option to get big equipment on this map it's uh, it's just not an option for you so um, it's making me think a little bit outside the box in terms of how I play, which I like. A nice option. But there you go, as you can see, straight ahead there, that view across the valley. Absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful job done. So, let's head on down to our first two fields. And we will see you down there, as you can see. Not much space for passing other vehicles, so you do have to have your wits about you. But we'll head down here and we will get the mower going. Right, here we are, just arriving at the main road. I'll just check there's no traffic coming, and there is. So, that was worth waiting for. Our fields are literally just around this corner here. So there is the first one, and you can see the entrance is just recessed in there slightly. And the second one is just along here. So we'll start with this one. Like I said, they aren't huge fields. But they are uh, hopefully going to give us a nice little crop of grass out of them. By the time we've got all of these fields done, we should have a decent amount of bales. We, of course, are happy to do any contracts as well. If that kind of bolsters the cash flow. We are uh, not made of money. And we would like to invest in some new equipment at some point. So we'll... Uh, take any option that we can lovely long thick grass though here it is definitely ready it is definitely ready let's pull forward so we don't hit the gate too late like I said I am not a fan of this mower but we will make it work let's shut the gate as well so we don't clash with it and let's go and mow some grass Right, we are off. Now, this mower I have never managed to get working very well on course play, if at all, if I'm being honest. So we're going to drive this manually. So we'll pop it into a little time lapse while we get this done, and we'll see how we get on. Um, so we'll be back shortly. I'm going to leave a little bit of a board around the edge, just for ease, but uh, we will see you shortly.
Right, we're coming up to the end of this field now. Um, it's been not too bad, actually. Just running in a kind of clockwise circle the whole time. It's still not my favourite mower, but it's done a decent enough job. Um, what we'll do, we will jump into the next field now, and we will open that up. But I might put a worker on. Like I said, I know Corseplay doesn't play very well with it, but we might try a worker. If we open a couple of headlands up, we might try an in-game AI worker and see if, see if he can handle this mower. Um, because that might be quite helpful, because what I'd like to do now is go and get the uh, the wind rower, bring that down on another tractor and get that started in this field too, so we can get on to some bailing as quickly as we can. So, um, let's just finish this row here, and then we will uh, drop it into the next field and see how we get on. There we go, last little section done. So, well, let's get this folded up. Over to the next field. It's not like there's that much grass on here, does there? It's interesting. One of the things I may want to do as we go through this series is replant the grass and actually put some proper um, grass seed in here rather than the long uh, meadow grass that's already there. It may give us a higher yield. I don't know, but it'll be a good little test to see. Let's try and avoid any uh, traffic incidents here. It does seem to be quite a lot of traffic on this map, but it seems to behave itself quite well as well. He says, as he tries to get undertaken by a red car as he was pulling out of the gate there. I take it all back. Luckily, we can pull off the road here. We'll get into the next field. Now, this could be fun getting in here. There's quite a long mow of this. Let's see how we do getting into this field. Now, we have just... And I mean just snuck in there. But one of the nice things about this map is the fact that you can remove hedgerows. And I actually think it might be beneficial for us to remove a hedgerow from the other field to help us get into this a little bit more easily. So I'm going to quickly grab the chainsaw and I'm going to cut out a space in the hedgerow here so that we can uh, get into this feel a little bit easier next time. So we're up against the hedgerow here, as you can see. Now you've got a little bit of um, tacticalness. I think it's this flower here. But you can see the marker there. If I do that, look at that. We've just opened up a space. I'll maybe go with a second one, actually. Just to give it a little bit of a wider space. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Usually about halfway down the hedge. We split them into nice little sections and you can cut them away and give yourself a bit more excess. Very handy. Right. Let's get the second field done. So we've just put a uh, hired worker on here. Let's see what happens, shall we? So far, so good. Although they're cutting at a slight angle here, so we'll have to come back and tidy that up at the end, but that's okay. As long as they uh, trigger And you can see down in the bottom corner, look at the yield. The yield is bang average for this grass. So there's definitely more we could get out of this, I think. But uh, for now, we'll just keep an eye on this and see what happens. Well, other than that first section there, this is starting to look quite promising. I'm almost tempted to leave this to run. And we'll head back for the other tractor. I've also spotted another gate over there and a, a, a straighter path into the field. So um, I didn't need to remove those fences, but it still helps us get between the fields. So I'm okay with that. Right. I am going to go and get the windrower because this looks like it might just be working. Okay, as we're coming down the hill here, I can see the fence still going strong in that uh, second field. So... That is a good sign. Um, right. 
So, it's not as far on as I thought, so what we'll do, we will run this in the first field. And we'll get it sorted, get it ready, and then we can start on the bailing. Alright, let's get things unfolded and see how we get on. Pull the sides down, that's done with the mouse actually, that's quite nice. There we go. Okay, again, we are going to... We're going to run counterclockwise so we don't stick this first row into into the hedge. I'm going to try this on course play as well. See how we get on. But yes, we're going to run counterclockwise. Maybe do two headlands and then the up and down rows. So, let's see how we get on. Okay, there's a course. I, I ended up going for a third headland just to give us a little more, bit more breathing space. But that looks pretty good. Let's turn all of that off. Let's go with the first waypoint. Wish us luck. And actually, it's going to be interesting to see how much grass is actually on here, because it's not clear. I don't think there is that much. It really is not a great crop. But there's nothing in the way. I think there's enough of a board around this. I do counterclockwise was the right thing to do, as you can see. Outside field, so things are looking good here. Work is going well in that field. We're going all right in this field, so right, we'll sit back, relax, and we'll see you again in a little bit. Right, our help is looking pretty good there. They did manage to bundle the entire of the uh, three headlands into one huge swath, though, so that could be interesting for the baler. But now he's on the up and down roads, looking like we've got a little bit... The volume of the grass is low, though. Generally, it is. Uh, and over here, I think our fence has just about finished, other than the bits he missed at the start, which I will go and tidy up now. It's actually done not a bad job at all. I have seen a lot worse done by the AI helpers in the past. So, we will go and just grab this little bit here, this strip here. We will then get, hopefully, by then, the uh, the windrow is finished in the other field and we'll uh, be able to bring the baler down. But there we go. We do have a few little bits and pieces that have been missed here. Let's grab these very quickly. And then this mower can head back to the farm and we will come back with the uh, with the baler I'm looking forward to trying this McHale baler I've never used it before so hopefully it's been a good purchase right that is our field mode so I can power this down hold it away we are going to get it up to the next field look at the windrow though look at that looking like a very tidy field there so We'll run this back to the farm. We will get the 7810 
and we will come back with the baler. So we're going to try this gate here. I think this could be a lot more appropriate for the mower than the other one. Now this baler you cannot find on the mod hub. I found this on King Mod. Um, I do think it's a uh, an update of an FS19 mod. Um, so we'll, let's just get hooked up anyway. We're going to be pushing it actually with the uh, horsepower with this tractor. But we'll give it a go. And the reason I've picked this baler is because it has a mechanism on the back of it that uh, tips the bale onto its flat edge because we are on some hilly countryside here and I do not want bales rolling down the hill and I have a flashback now to funnily enough a very similar tractor to this on my very very first ever video on Perfect Valley in FS19 alright here we are back at our field entrance the gate again shut so it doesn't get in the way we'll get this open We'll get this in here, we will move our windrower to the next field, and then we'll see how we get on with this baler. Right, will it even fit through here? It's a big wide baler. Nah, we're good. We're all good. Right, into the other Ford. Let's get over here. We're going to just use that little gap in the uh, hedge that we cut. Exactly the reason why we cut it. And we'll give things a go. Again, we'll do a counterclockwise course. We'll maybe leave it at two headlands this time. Just to avoid this very big windrow. But um, other than that, that worked quite well. So we shall do a rinse and repeat on it. Everything unwrapped. And we're off. Right. Happy days. Now, let's see how this baler's going to get on. Right, let us unfold our baler. And that, I believe, is our little uh, wheel that tips the bale when it's done it. Let's spin things up. Let's lower down the pickup. All looks good so far. Like I said, maybe a little bit short on power on this tractor. It needs 150 horsepower to run. But so far, so good. First bale coming up. Yeah, we're struggling on the hill. There's our bale. And it wraps it as we go, which is good. So we don't have to stop. Also using Ola Holdo's uh, rounder bales mod here. Which gives you a more authentic bale at the end of it. Looks a little less box shaped now. It doesn't tip it out, so I need to do that, which I believe is the Y button. Yeah. And it flips it onto its end like that, so it doesn't disappear off down the hill. Which was very much a possibility. But that's worked really well. I like that. And we're going to get a good crop of bales off here, I think. If I can stay within the wind, uh, wind rows.
Right, this is our last little bit in this field here. We've just dropped another bale off there. As you can see, quite a lot of bales here, which is quite good. Very pleased with that. So we will do our last little bits here. Look, we've even managed to get another bale there. Let's reverse up once that's dropped down. Collect this. Don't want to waste any grass unless we have to. Grab that. And uh, we are done. We'll drop this in this field. I don't know how much we've got. 19%. So, as soon as he's finished wrapping, we'll drop him. We'll head over to the next field. Now, the wind rower that we put in the next field when we adjusted the width up probably hasn't done as good a job as it did when it was too short. I know we combined the rows here, but it actually made it quite a little uh, bit more efficient. Whereas I think over here we may have missed some bits of grass. I mean, it's fine. We'll make it work, right? There's not uh, any huge issues. Uh, and we'll pick it all up. But it's just maybe not as slick as we would have hoped it would be. So, um, although they're, not, they're lovely straight rows, aren't they? Look at those. But let's just... We'll, we'll drive up on the headland here. Pick up this rather scrawny headland. And we'll grab the 7610 and we'll run that home before we start bailing this field. Um... And we'll come back with the trailer and the front loader. Right, we'll just grab our... There's the bale trailer, actually. We will just grab our front loader. Now, I'm going to try this without a weight. Because they're only small bales. It could be a complete disaster. And we might have to come back for the weight. But let's just try it. I'd like to be able to pull the... Uh, like to be able to pull the trailer down with this and get all the job done in one go. We'll see. I've never tried this before either. This uh, this front loader with this uh, multiple bale grabbing spike on from the CSZ pack. So we'll give that a go too. I'm not optimistic there's going to be enough weight over the back end, but you know what? We'll give it a go. Right, here we are, arriving at the field. Just wait for that traffic to go past. Squeeze through the gate here. Again, quite tight. Everything is tight. Now. Let's just park this up. And see how we get on here. Now, would you like a little demo of how this works? I quite like this little mod. Um, so... We need to press B first to switch it to operating position, and we press O to unfold the tool. There we go. Now I should be able to roll up to this bale, and it grabs it. I don't know why it disappears. A little bit of a glitch there. But then we go up to this next one here, and it grabs that too. And now we have two bales on here. Now, my problem is here. I need the weight on, as you can see, it's lifting us. But what we do now, if we want to drop these off, I would press Y. And Y again. And I've got two very nicely stacked bales. Not bad, eh? Like that. And Y again resets it, and we can go and get another bale. But, very nice tool, but we are going to go and get uh, the rear weight for this, because... There's no way we're loading two bales onto our trailer without all hell breaking loose. So, um, that probably is an ideal juncture for us to stop this episode. We've got through quite a lot here. We've got some loading to do next episode, which could be good fun. We've got the bailing in the second field to do, which could be, again, good fun. But I hope you've liked this. It has been a whole heap of fun playing, I have to say proper old school just getting on with jobs and recording it it's been it's been great fun so uh, i hope you enjoy it and uh, if you like this and want to see more of it let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do but for now from me the farm sim guy thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again very soon take care bye for now